Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with lifeafterdeath.com. Lifeafterdeath.com is a community of people who have a very strong interest in the topic of life after death, uh, the afterlife, near-death experience, reincarnation, and uh, perhaps uh, have a fear of death or are dealing with that uncertainty in their own life. So we come together to talk about these topics with an open heart, open mind, and look to different experts and different uh, research topics to try to get some understanding of what could possibly be after death. Now, cryogenics is something that a lot of people are talking about these days. Now, near-death experience has only so far been possible if the person came back, so they weren't in fact truly dead. And But a lot of people look at the experiences that people had, the evidential um, uh, symbols that they saw, the things that they experienced, and just believe that that is a good indication that there is something that happens after death. Now, scientists and doctors may say that this is just the brain, uh, you know, going into some kind of uh, suspension and uh, the chemical chemicals are creating these, uh, these images and experiences. And so for the skeptic, it's not really enough. Now, cryogenics is simply the um, art, or simply, it's not that simple, I suppose, but it's the art of freezing a body so that it is completely brain and heart and body dead. It is not alive. Now, people are doing this because they do believe that if the body is suspended in this kind of frozen state, that in the future, there might be a cure for the illness which they're suffering from, or they just want to you know, be absolutely sure that they're going to benefit from technology in the future. So several companies companies have started to offer this cryogenic service and they want to preserve their bodies of course in the hope that they will live a longer existence. Now there's some challenges to this and um, I guess the question is does cryogenics prove that there is life of some kind after death? So the body is completely frozen, the brain is inactive and they're, they're frozen in time. If they're ever brought back to life though, will they ever be able to tell us what happened? Because all the, um, well, the belief right now is that as scientists say that the memories all reside in the brain. So if the brain has been frozen all this time, they will have no um, words to describe what happened. They'll have no memories of what ex they experienced in this total death experience or true death experience, TDE. So there's a, in the article that I'm referring to here, we've, we've got some other information that you might to, want to refer to. I'm just giving you a summary here of the article so that you can uh, read it and get a bit more information. But maybe the messages or the memories of the afterlife are held in a different part of the brain or that we don't know about or that it's, um, you know, they're being stored somewhere so that they can be regenerated with a better understanding of how the brain and how memories work. Maybe they're just not transferable to our human body. Perhaps the memories that we have in that state of, um, of true death experience are something else. They're not a memory that we can identify with, with our current state of understanding. So I guess at the end of the day, true death experiences will um, offer a much more compelling look if we are able to talk to people who have been in this very um, unique <laughs> physical uh, condition, and if they come back with any memories, we, we just don't know yet. But cryogenics really could, at the end of the day, maybe not in the, our lifetime or many, maybe hundreds of years, but cryogenics or that kind of practice of completely um, stilling the body and, and putting it into a state of, of, of death will bring back answers about what goes on in that that after life state, that uh, true death experience. What do you think? Isn't it fascinating? I just think that science is taking us so far. I mean, faith and um, you know what we are taught in our, our religious um, um, context has a different explanation. But when you look at this, it's just quite interesting. What do you think about it? I mean, do you think that true death experiences the TDEs that are um, brought about by uh, being put into a cryogenic frozen state, that they will tell us something about the afterlife? What do you think? Do you, let's have a conversation. Just leave your thoughts below. You might have some research that you'd like to refer to or have your own points of view. We'd love to hear them. We don't have all the answers or very many of the answers here. That's why this community of lifeafterdeath.com is hopefully unique in its uh, approach. 
So please leave your comments below about your feelings of cryogenics and true death experiences, uh, whether you think they will help us understand, and any other topics uh, related to this theme that you have in your mind. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here and for your, um, for your interest and for your um, gentle approach to th these topics that are very difficult, very emotional, and very intriguing. So thanks for being here. We'll talk again soon on another topic related to life after death. Take good care for now. Bye-bye.